Moo! Cats! I'll just be in the way. There you go. I had to redo my hair because going outside ruined it. My hair got to, even my hair got to get used to outside. But it's okay because I'm about to start wearing sew ins again. So don't even worry about it. Damn, where my lip gloss? I wish I had a clip, because I would definitely clip this back for right now. But, whatever. We're going to get into it. Oh, I didn't take... I forgot. I'm missing parts of the ritual. LOL. Somebody skipping steps. And they, they realizing it a little too late. I guess we're going to get into that. I did a pre-shuffle. It's already out here. We got to take our picture. Ew. Okay. I don't know if I like that. I don't. The light is killing it. Don't need that much like a damn. Hey. What's up, y'all? There we go. I like that one. My forehead looks big as hell, but. Okay, let's try one more time. I like that one better. Way better. Oh, my phone about to die. This one. Hey, y'all. All right, we definitely about to get into the tarot now. Um, let me put, let me light this candle. Clear the energy. You see, oh, oh, you see it want to work today, right? LOL. Just once, just once. It only works once a day. But shout out to Monet, because after the live yesterday, she bought me new lighters. Shout out to her. And if you ever want to send me a gift, my Amazon wish list is always down below in the description box. Under literally every single one of my videos. Everyone. But let's burn this Palo Santo, clear the energy real quick. And if y'all hear that noise in the background, it's just my cats. Having their morning playtime. What y'all got? Cause y'all over there real content in a circle. LOL. What is that? Y'all stole somebody beauty blunt? Yo, they always, they be in everybody's room just like stealing stuff and then like bringing it. That's a fortune cookie. They have an unwrapped fortune cookie. I'm about to steal it. I'm just coming to steal it. I, I will give y'all something else to play with, but I'm coming to get that fortune cookie. Pepe, bring me the fortune cookie, Pepe. Bring it over here. She's like, no. They're literally playing soccer with a fucking fortune cookie. Having a time. And that fortune cookie been sitting on my dresser for a while. Because y'all know every now and again, I actually use the fortune cookies in the readings. That's crazy because I use the fortune charm, which I make these. And they have real uh, crystals in them. 
They're on my website if you want one. This is from, I do them for full moon attunement specifically. And for this full moon, we're actually using the element gold. The last one we did, Ruby, you could check it out. If you go to my live, my other live streams. Um, Where is it? Where the damn necklace at? It's on my neck. Oh, here we go. These, I decided I'm going to make some more of these. So there's a limited amount. They're on for sale on my website. And I'm actually going to do the crystals a little bit more chunky like this. But I had did another necklace. And so it's like, it's going to be a mix of the two. But yeah, it's going to look a little bit like this. So if you want to order one, you can do so on my website. Like I said, it's a limited amount. And we'll be using, we'll be attuning the element to the element gold on the full moon. And if you want to join that full moon attunement, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications. That way you... What do they do with it? Oh, they left it. I ain't got to take it. They left it. Hold on, y'all. They legit abandoned it. <laughs> so look at that. Y'all see how far I had to run in my room? That's how giant, like, that's how long my room is. This room is big as heck. Like, literally, my room is the size of its own apartment. I have the biggest room in the house. It's amazing. I love that for me. Please charge. Okay. Because you never know when you might need it. All right, we're actually going to start off with... This fortune cookie, let me get my water. Don't mind me today, y'all. I'm a little bit high. I was puffing my pen. I'm a little high. In your relationship, you're faithful to it. You like participating in competitive sports. That is the fortune. And then the numbers are 44, 29, 17, 5, 30, and 31. Yeah, that's the fortune for the day. I might have to go to the Chinese place and get some more fortunes and do a fortune every day. I don't know. Um, okay. I low key feel like I should roll the dice first. I need to put on my lip gloss too. That's part of the ritual too. LOL. So something about like rituals is mass significant here. Somebody skipping steps or something like that. Somebody ain't reading signs. And you can get these. I said I was going to put them up yesterday, but I didn't. I'm going to put them up today. You can get uh, seraphim dice. They don't have numbers. They have runes and other symbols. Bound runes, all that good stuff. And it comes with 13 dice. 13. And my room class is still open for registration for the next um, few days. Registration closes on the 22nd. I don't know what today is. It's the 13th, I think. Is it? The 13th is always a significant day because 13 is the number of death. Death. LOL. <laughs> LOL. Y'all see how I act when I'm high. I'm cracking up right now. Give me a second. I want to post my live on my Instagram. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I put it on my community tab. I posted my Instagram on my community tab yesterday. So, if you're interested, just go to my channel. And go to my community tab. Hey, why you want to go and do that? Uh, hey, hey, why you want to go and do that? I do that. Hey, hey why you want to go and do that? that, that. Hey, your relationship with Faithful Sue with nigga so wet. Say, why you want to go and do that? Um, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, yeah, let me put the cash app in, too, for the questions at the end. In your relationship with Faithful Sue with niggas. LOL. 
Because at the end of every live, I do questions. You can cash out or you can super chat. It's $5 per question. You get three cards. Ten. And then let's share the live. Share the live. If you watching, share the live with somebody. You feel me? Okay, let's post it on Instagram. Never will because I'm pretty. That's what I should put the sticker as. What song should I put? Let's see. Oh! This song been in my head. Cardigan. I ain't even about to listen to it. I'm going to just put whatever it is on there. You be on my back like a cardigan. We be doing things in how to end. Mm. It's evident that you ready to ride. Hop up in my Jeep and put your pie to the side. Go against the game. Swinging on the corner, bang my tail till it pun. I thought I was a goner. Taste to your honor. Burn marijuana. Keep dime in the donor. Hotter than the sun. I met her at Salada. Follow baby Prada. She popped it for the dollars. Down oh, we were rolling dice. Okay, and then I got a pre shuffle out here. When I'm high, I get distracted super easy. My brain start moving too fast. Faster than it normally do. Oh, that's the accelerator room. And only one fell out. Only that one room fell out. Oh no, and the clover. I keep channeling that 314 is mass significant. Like March 14th, because that's Pi Day. But I see that as a Neptunian day because mathematics always is going to resonate with Neptune. And y'all know how we feel about Neptune over here on this channel. Dear Neptune is a thing. If you want to check out either one of those series, uh, Kenna's Strength. What is this? Because the pre-shuffle is the, the Three of Cups, the Nine... The Three of Cups, Six of Wands, Knight of Cups, the Devil, and the Hermit. But I'm getting, I'm not reading it spirit. I'm not reading it as the Devil today. I'm reading it as, and that just confirmed it. I'm reading it as, um, like Capricorn. What the fuck is this? Oh. Water. Yeah, something is like flowing fast as hell. Like moving. Something is moving really fucking fast. Or it's about to. Like something is going to be initiated and that shit is going to move so fast. Like to the point where like I don't think somebody is skipping steps. They're just moving so fast it feels like it. It rolled on the Dallas Okay, let me put my lip gloss on because I'm skipping steps. Mm -hmm. And what is this? Rose? So, Rose Exotic. Roses could be significant. Can I call you Rose? Can I call you Rose? LOL. I'm gonna just let one fall out. Cause that's what keeps happening. And the okay, it's still no. The water just turned to earth. The shield, the divine shield rune, and then air. So earth and air. Earth and air. No. 
That's earth. This is this is earth. Sorry. Spirit is air. I feel like that's all we're gonna take. And okay. Considering that I placed them down like that is Lagos, Tiwas, another money sign, Ingus, Dagas, and Manas. So for those who resonate with runes, that's what came out. Two bound runes, Tiwas, Lagos, Manas, uh, Ingus, and Dagas. And then we got the abundant, no, not the abundant receiver. It's the divine shield rune, which is Tiwas, Jera, and uh, Ansu's, and the accelerator rune, which is Tiwaz, Dagas, and Rado. Movement. Something is happening. It's like it gives earthquake energy. Because when you move earth, usually it causes some type of disruption. This, oh, this has to do with Foma Hall. Because I was like looking up stuff about Foma Hall yesterday. And like basically, Zeus turned. I can't w remember what they call it in, like, Greek myth. It started with a D. Drag Dragon? Dragon? I could look it up. Foam. Oh, it's right there. Ooh, ooh. Okay, it's associated with Typhon. A creature associated with natural disasters, particularly volcanoes, which gives Mother Nature. <laughs> Zeus crushed him under Mount Etna, an active volcano in Sicily. There was something else, though. I was reading something else about Fulma Hall. Maybe it's on my laptop. Perhaps it is. Uh, grab, grab, grabavoy, grab, grabavoy codes are going to be significant too. I don't know if y'all use those. I do though, because they work. The only thing about those, you actually have to really believe in those. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Like, it's, it's just not going to work. Yeah, Sea Dragon in both Syrian and Canaanite cultures, Fomahal was considered the symbol of the sea god Dagon. Dagon's temple was destroyed by the biblical hero Samson. Um, and I did talk, we said we were going to talk about the royal stars, which is Fomahal, Regulus, Aldebaran, and Antares. Antares. And yeah, we're going to get into that Persian mythology. And we about to, where, where do you learn? Oh, how about this? Samson Bible story. I'm going to read that shit today. Because, right, we was talking about this yesterday. With the whole war on your mind thing with the Bible and how people don't understand that the Bible is not a Christian text. There's no such thing as a Christian text. Um, because the Bible is a Jewish text, very much like the Torah. Um, yeah. Like, maybe not the original Bible, right? The Egyptian Bible could have been something. The Egyptian Bible correlated with Sumerian texts. So, like, either way, it's these are not... Christian, this is not Christian mythology. Religion is all about spirituality, which is usually mythology. The spirit, right? It's not some physical shit that happened. Like, it's a, it's a, even if it was, that's the past. This is the present. But a lot of us right now are in this Akashic shit where we're figuring out what the real story is or just like, 
completing missing like finding missing pieces of the story but whatever so the biblical account states that samson was a nazarite and that he was given immense strength to aid him against his enemies and allow him to perform superhuman feats including slaying a lion with his bare hands and after offer offending groomsmen at his wedding in palestine massacring a philistine army with the donkey so he basically got superpowers this God, Yahweh, Yeshua, gave him superpowers to basically to be able to defeat anything with anything. He was captured, blinded, and enslaved by the Philistines, but in the end, God granted Samson his revenge. Through the return of his old strength, he demolished the great Philistine temple of the god Dagon, a.k.a. Zaga, Gaza, Destroying his captors and himself. Judges. 16, 4 through 30. Okay, Judges. My Bible is over there. I'll read it later. And if you're interested, um, we get into it. Maybe I'll talk about it in the pre-recorded videos. And every day I pre-record, like I'd make more videos after my live stream. But as part of a membership, the only membership now over here on my YouTube channel is called Saint uh, Seraphim Secrets. And it's where I post the content. And then it goes public after 24 hours. But sometimes, some of those videos, I'm not going to post after 24 hours. Like, I'm going to wait for real, for real. And sometimes I might even bulk up. So it's better to have the membership or just to tune in live every day. Because I will be going live every day. Um, I want to read this now. What was God's purpose for Samson? To free the Israelites from the Philistines. Samson was called by the Lord to help him. Samson's mission was required physical strength. The Lord made a covenant with Samson that as long as he obeyed the Lord, he would be physically strong. LOL. So he petitioned for, he wasn't, he petitioned. Everybody petitions, really. Some, Most of us are born with these gifts. We just have to go through a journey to realize we have them. He petitioned. This man petitioned for magic. Super strength is magic. Anything that defies the laws of nature and physics, magic. If you can't explain it, usually people call it magic, even though you can't explain it. When you take into account other non, like, we take into account air and we can't see that. So I don't understand why, like, I guess that's what the spirit is for, what spirituality is for. Because that's kind of where science begins and ends, at the unseen. Science works in the seen realm, the 3D realm. Spirituality works in the 4D and whatever, above the 5D realm. Hmm, interesting. We're going to keep that in mind. Okay, three of cups, six of wands, knight of cups, the devil, and the hermit. Excuse me. Uh, we were talking about this yesterday, and I just feel like we keep getting deeper and deeper. When we talk about people petitioning for magic, understand that um, religion is... All religion requires you to divine. But if you don't know that's what you're doing, then of course you'll ostracize witches even though you're doing the same thing. Because... Reciting, repeating, memorizing, and even saying as a using as a weapon for defense or to attack from a reciting words from a sacred text to have some effect on a thing, a person, and a, a whatchamacallit, that is spell work. So every time you say something with intention to it for it to come true, for it to manifest, for it to manipulate. That's spell work. Some people are realizing. I think this is people who are doing this, but they don't. They won't ever identify it as that. So church groups are covens. 
I just want to get that out there. Mm -hmm. Church groups are covens. They are. They won't call themselves that. They will rebuke me in the name of Jesus if, if they heard me saying it. But church groups are cults and covens. Churches are cults. I mean, churches are cults. And there are covens within cults. So understand that religion is deep into the occult. And church people are doing magic within their sacred place. No matter what religion it is, no matter what you call the church, congregating in a building for a common, you know, act of this, it, it, is, it is petitioning for magic to whatever God you're praying to. You can, you can agree with that or not. You don't have to agree. It's the truth. Either way. Can I call you Rose? LOL. I can't get that out of my mind. But that with Cardigan are two completely different songs. So that's interesting. Like, I'm finna stand tall in it. I'm all in it. You be on my back like a Cardigan. Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles with the moon and the magician, bruh, and the nine of wands. Oh, okay. I see what this is. Considering the last, the readings from like the last few weeks, these are, um, somebody's putting up their defenses. Cause like, instead of them doing something on the full moon, they're trying to protect themselves on the full moon now. Or like I said, like, even if it's not just on the full moon, just generally. There's a group of people who are now trying to figure out how to protect themselves. Because any defensive attack or even offensive effort will not work in their favor. So the only thing that they can focus on right now is defense. Because they're, spirit they're being spiritually attacked by whatever they were petitioning to. Whatever, whoever this is was petitioning to, they're now being attacked by it and they're having to figure out how to defend themselves. So they might be running to a different God. Or they just might be utilizing different tactics. But you ain't gotta worry about it because I don't know. But they're still in your, they're still in the collective energy, so. If it wasn't our business, it wouldn't come out. Because I would say, like, well, why are we still being shown what they got going on? I feel like whoever this is wants to come towards you. They're just, like, they're trying to figure out how to protect themselves before they do, just in case. Because they can't afford to take a loss right now. It has to do with the Two of Cups, though. The Two of Cups with the Hermit. Why do they need to defend themselves? Really, really. Like IRL, why do they really need to defend themselves? Can I call you Rose? What is that? I'm hearing you're not making enough noise. It's too quiet. The lovers. Somebody knows that they did something wrong. but they want to figure out what they did wrong. And they kind of want you to explain it to them, but at this point, they know you're not going to. But if they're going to come towards you, they need to be... Like, they need to figure out a way to protect themselves from you. I feel like what we were talking about yesterday, like, 
somebody was using you as protection, but they need you and they know that like you have the means to like really hurt this person or like you have power that was already that was always in you. Not some power you petitioned for. And they don't want to, they don't want to get sent back to the goddamn universe. That's what it looks like. Like, they don't, they don't want to get blown off the edge of the earth. I'll say that. I feel like whoever this is is coming to you. They're not, they're not coming to you by themselves. Too scary. They're coming with a group. They're coming with a friend. This is like a Capricorn and a Virgo. They're coming with a group. They're coming with a friend. But it's Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo energy. It's at least three people here because it's starting off with three of cups. That's three people thinking about what the fuck they about to do. How they about to do this. Even if you don't see the, the other people, they're there in the background. So if somebody comes towards you offering you something with that Knight of Cups, understand that there's two other people in the background who are aware of this entire situation. It's not just this person coming alone. It's two other people in the background. <sighs> Tell me more about this Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Because it's like they're coaching this person on how to use, how to defend themselves. It gives, like, Say a guy is trying to talk to a girl, but he don't know how to. And he texting her, but he's sitting there with his two friends. His two friends is, like, basically giving him, like, tea on how to talk to the girl because they don't know how to talk to her. But it's, like, a mission. It's, like, an event. It's, it's giving, like, advanced mission, but, like, with assistance. And something that was done, I feel like, at some point, let these people know that they needed to be, like, up on game a little bit more. Like, they can't use the regular, like, their normal tactics. Or their normal routine, their normal rituals. That's not going to work. It definitely got something to do with glamour magic, too. Because there's no reason why I... I did my hair this morning and put on mascara. There's no reason. Like I literally, literally could not let myself come on here with a bun. Cause I had my hair in a bun. I said, no, I'm gonna go do my hair because I just feel like I should go do my hair. Whoever this is, whoever these people are, glamor magic is very significant for them. Which means shiny things. Jewelry, big gaudy jewelry that you can see, you know. Um, they're ha pretty handsome or just keep themselves, or beautiful, handsome, whatever. They keep themselves well maintenance. And they wear brand names for a fact. Because that's, glam that's the type of glamour that most people don't have access to. Like... A lot of people have access to, like, being able to do their hair in really nice ways or, you know, even get a haircut, a shape up at the least, you know. Um, for girls, like, putting your hair in a ponytail and being able to slick that shit back no matter how little or how less, I mean, how much or how little hair you got type shit or just being able to do certain things with it. This definitely has to do with your teeth, mercurial energy, 
right? The way I be thinking about when I talk think about spirituality, because I did talk about competitiveness. You're a competitor. You're a premium player in the game. You is pushing P. Whoever these people are might be pushing P too. But they can't come towards a top ranking competitor thinking that it's going to be that easy. Whoever this is, they want you on a team. Because you got something that they can't get. This could be a group of men who want to add a woman to their team. Because only the woman has a vagina. Can't none of them. I mean, they could surgically. But I don't think that they're interested in anything like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they recognize the strength that you have. Cause whoever this is, it's like in the um where you ever see like a shootout or whatever, or like in war, when like you're shooting, but then you hide behind the barricade. If you just knew you was gonna take somebody out, you're not worried about no barricade or protecting yourself. You just about to come in busting. Like I feel like at first that's what these in this person, these people, because it's clearly more than one person here. These people thought they was about to do. Like, they was going to be able to just walk in and just air that shit out. And you was just going to be like, oh, don't hurt me. Like, nah, you bust back. <laughs> you was busting back. They said, oh, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? They can't beat you. It's like, it's like, it's like just, it's like just shooting back and forth. And you ain't not around, but it's like, you didn't, you're didn't. you defending yourself. They running out of rounds, though, and they about to have to negotiate. That's what that Knight of Cups is, with the lovers and the devil negotiating a deal. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, negotiating a deal for expansion. Because you defending your territory by yourself, physically, they need multiple physical bodies because they don't have as much spiritual strength. They don't have spiritual strength. You do. They have physical strength. They don't have spiritual strength. And their bodies are getting weak. Maybe. Or they're just passing their energy out a little bit too much. They could be like, like I said, pushing P. They could just be fucking all over the place and like wasting their energy but they're not getting anything back. They need like a charger or how, they need to learn how to charge. I talked about this a while ago, needing to learn how to spiritually charge, but not knowing how to do so. Whoever this is, whoever these people are, they operate in the light. They operate in the shadows too, but they also operate in the light. And operating in the light is starting to drain them. It's very much like a vampire thinking that they're gonna just make you submit to them, but you 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 get away and you reveal that you have some some ancient strength that even the oldest vampire doesn't possess, like some ancient gifts that even the oldest vampire doesn't possess, which means that either you're older. You're a vampire. <laughs> or you're something different altogether that they just never, that is just too old for them to even be aware of. Like a god. Like an ancient energy. A primordial energy. Yeah, this is like a god trying to fight against a primordial thinking that it's a god. No, bitch, I made you. And I manifested myself to see how you were doing. And if you were balanced. I cannot make this shit up. And if you were balanced. You can't control a creation. But if it's not working, if it's not operating in it within its intended use, it can be. And you have full right as a creator to adjust it. 
you can pull it off the market. You can stop making it available. Basically, you can make it go extinct. And then you can tweak it and then put it back out and see how it works again. You're pulling shit off the shelves. And I think that as you're pulling your energy off the shelves, calling your power back, whatever, whoever might have been operating, building on your power, your strength is also, all of that energy is, it's like everything, it's like a business working on your name, right? You're the, you're the creditor. And you decide, oh, y'all ain't been paying y'all your tabs. So I'm just going to repo everything that y'all have bought on my credit, on my name. I'm just going to repo all of this shit. And they don't know until they wake up and everything is repoed. Now they're here trying to beg for their shit back. Omega energy. Heavy on it. Heavy on a dog. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, yeah, motherfuckers is about to come back begging for their energy because they ain't got none. They ran out of energy. Seven of Wands, they done ran out of energy. They ran out. They need a new source. Somebody needs a source. Some people need a source. And they had you operating as a source without your consent. And when you found out, you pulled the fucking plug. So now they're going to need your consent. But how are they going to get that? Because the only way for the plug to get pulled is if you knew you found out that they were using your energy without your consent. We talked about this yesterday. You weren't supposed to find out, but you found out. But they still have to operate. Because if they don't, well, they don't have no protection. If you're if you're picking war with somebody and you all of a sudden lose all of your protection, you do know that within a matter of minutes you could like you could just lose the war altogether. And then what? You can't blame it on nobody. You should have been prepared. They're realizing just how valuable you really are. Whoever this is, lol. I'm not used to wearing my hair in the middle, y'all. I'm used to wearing my hair on the side. I might have to just start putting my hair up because it's really in the way. Like, I do have some pins. Hold up. Somebody needs you to, yeah. It's about to, something about to get in like business mode. That Ten of Pentacles is money being offered to you. And now these are crystal hairpins. If you want to get some of these, they're available on my website. The link is always down below in my description box. Um, yeah. And you can customize your set. You can get all one crystal set. You can get different crystals. There are also like vibes and moods for different sets and stuff like that too. But yeah, it's like negotiate. You're going. You're about to go to the negotiation room. So just be prepared because understand that you. Being who you are, doing what it is that you can do, you have leverage, okay? You have leverage. You got to leverage. Oh, that's so cute. I ain't never do that before. Oh, such a simple little hairstyle. It was so cute, like. Anyway, yeah, whatever this is, you have leverage. You got leverage. So what was this that came out? My cats. 
the star, the two of wands, the five of pentacles, and the four of wands. Fucking, what's on here? Motherfucking vampires. They need you. They need you. They need you. I do, I do, I do, I do. Bunny, don't come up here yelling. And even though I can do all these dear things, I need you. We need you. Listen to that. I think it's called I Need You by Jill Scott. We need you. How it start? Oh, and listen to the song after that. La, 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 la. It takes more than diamonds to woo me. Mm-hmm. La, 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 la. It takes more than money to groom me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Feeling the way I do. It's hard to keep focused. One minute staring at the moon. Next into your eyes. And it's no surprise that my knees dead weaken from the lovely words you're speaking. Huh. Spell work and glamour are so significant here. Pushing P, play. What you think pimps do? <laughs> what you think pushing P really is, okay? That play of the ism, okay? You got that ism in your blood. <laughs> and you a female. Somebody trying to figure out where the fuck you got this shit from. Where you learned this shit from. Because, I mean, according to these people, they some real niggas. Hold up. Let me move some of these cards around. According to them, they some real niggas. Because whatever, whatever type of P they pushing... Damn sure got motherfuckers coming back. But you... Shit, they, whatever P they pushing got motherfuckers pushing up. You ain't pushing up. And they trying to figure out what the fuck is... What the fuck is wrong with they pimping? What the fuck is wrong with they... Like, it, it, has they... It, has the ism in their blood just been deactivated all of a sudden? Like, I don't understand. But it's because you're a different breed, too. You ain't cut from the same cloth the mother hoes is cut from. And that's just that on that. Mm. Three of Wands. With the Two of Swords. I swear to God, if you close your eyes and meditate on what I'm telling you right now, not during the reading, afterwards. Shit, if you want to listen to this with your eyes closed, fine. But after this, meditate for just like five minutes. Even if you're at work, when you get on your lunch break, if you're already on your lunch break, because it is like 1130 where I am, I'm on Eastern Standard Time. Um, you're going to meditate on this. I bet, I bet faces pop up. I bet you start being able to see people's faces. Whether you recognize them or not, you're going to be shown a face. And it might be a face you've already seen. Maybe not IRL, but somewhere on the 40. You know these people from past lives. But you know, it's like you know their spirit, but it rest, registers as their face. You know who this is. You can sense what direction they're coming from. Like them fucking vampires of Twilight. You can sense who it is and where they're coming from. Queen vamp type energy. Queen regent type energy. The color blue is significant. Lilith is significant. Somebody thinks you're a daughter of Eve. Baby, you're 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 the offspring of fucking Lilith. Okay. That ain't gonna resonate for everybody, but it is what it is. 
It's going to resonate for some people. You're not a daughter of Eve. You are the offspring of Lilith. Lilith comes from the stars. Lilith is the dark moon. So the moon does not phase Lilith. Because she is the side of the moon that most people don't see. The dark side of the moon. Eight of Wands. Eight of Swords. So you're about to be on a journey. Teaching about what you are and what you're capable of. But not by saying it, really. By showing it. Mm-hmm. Feeling the way I do, it's hard to keep focus. Listen to that song. One minute staring at the moon, next into your eyes. And it's no surprise that my knees stayed weakened. From the lovely question speaking. Ha. La 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 la. Takes more than diamonds to woo me. La 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 la. It takes more than money to glue me. La 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 la. It takes more than cars to get me where. I need to go, don't stop the flow. And that's why they will suffer consequences if they came to you unprotected. Because this is like somebody needing your energy, but not being able to take it because if you, if they don't, if, you, if they, it's okay. It's like getting a drug and not knowing what the fuck it is. A little bit of this shit could kill you. You don't know what it is. You don't know what that is. You shouldn't be taking it unless you know exactly what the fuck that is. Unless you know exactly what the fuck you're doing. That's basically what you are. Some of y'all resonate with Rose. Like in Rose line, you resonate with a poppy. If you don't know what Rose line is... Just go on the internet and look it up. I'm not about to sit here and explain it. If you want to know about more about a poppy, I have plenty of notes on that, though. So if you want those notes, I am more than willing to share them. Um, Yeah. But for a small donation, because ain't no nation like a donation. <laughs> ain't no nation like a donation, okay? Cracking up. If you read, uh, I'll make it. Uh, it's free too. Well, I got it for free, so I'll make that book available in this description box. Um, Pimpology by Pimp and King. Read that book. The world will never be able to take advantage of you ever again. Read Pimpology. I'm telling you. Three of Pentacles though. With the Knight of Wands. Yeah, motherfuckers just about to come through with the gifts. This is like somebody meeting you for the first time. And taking you on a fucking shopping spree. Because that's the only way they're going to be able to get your... Like, that's the price just to be able to negotiate. This is not somebody... Like, you're not somebody who you could just walk up... And not to say you're materialistic. Because I know I'm not. So I wouldn't be reading that energy because I don't even resonate with that. Um, But if you resonate with Poppy... You have earth in your moon. Whether your Lilith is earth. You're either your moon or your Lilith. Or, right, you should look at both in your chart. Where your moon is and where Lilith is in your chart. There is significant earth or there is significant fire. Okay? There's significant earth or there is significant fire. Excuse me. There's a lot of wands out here. Two of wands, four of wands, six of wands, nine of wands, three of wands, the seven of wands came out. It's not many cups. Just the two of cups. 
It's a good amount of major arcana out here. The stars out here. The lovers are out here. The devil, the hermit, the magician, the moon, justice. Oh, the three of cups is out here too. There's a lot of earth energy out here. The devil, the hermit, ten of cups. I mean, ten of pentacles, three of pentacles, five of pentacles. And then there's the Eight of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Oh, yeah, and then there's the Knight of Cups. But that's a court. So that that, that falls in with the, the Majors. Even though it's a minor, it falls in with the Majors. Especially, you don't really include minor energy in the energy, the rest of the energies of the suit. Like the numbers of the suit. Miners, when you're looking at energy itself, miners get, miners are actors. The numbers of the suit identify the step. The miners in the suit identify the actor. Or a major identifies the actor, but usually the majors identify the energy that the actors are utilizing, right? For those who don't know how to read tarot, tarot, whatever you call it. You have some, you spit in super hot fire, ace of wands. I can't make this up with the eight of wands. You're spitting super hot fucking fire. Dragon, dragon days, and the fire's hot. Why am I coming up on all of these old ass songs? Like a desert needs water. I need you a lot. Dragon days, I want to be sad. I'm missing you. And the days drag on. Dragon days by Alicia Keys. It's off the diary album. Leo. Head on my I talked about that in the live stream in this last week too, that that song. And I was saying that somebody wants you to be like they need to know the secrets that you know and they don't they don't have the capability maybe to get them, but they know you do, so but they so they need you to be somebody behind the scenes. Cause these two people that's already behind the scenes that whoever this Knight of Cups has been relying on. They, they've run out of things to try, things to do, magic to use, tactics to use. Seven of Cups with the death. They've run out. They're confused. Error. <laughs> it's get, They're getting an error. Some of y'all had the gift of programming. And I don't mean that on a 3D, in a 3D way. Like, that's your, if you watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, that's your stan. You have a stan power. Or, if you watch Hunter x Hunter, I think it's, that's your nen? Yeah. Or is it your, hold up, I think it is your nen. <sighs> Let's see. I should have ate before this. Yeah, it's your nan. And enhancement is the strongest type of nan. One of the six types of nan is the strongest of all when it comes to physical strength and power. You, your ability to enhance, so whatever you, like I said, whatever you have comes naturally to you, but you've learned how to enhance it. And I have a bound rune called the Enhancer. Let me look for it and I'm gonna give it to y'all. For those who own divine runes or utilize runes for any reason, I have, one of my hobbies is binding runes. Hello, world. 
Is it this one? It could be. It's Suilo, G Jibo, um, Issa, and Jera. But I don't think that is. Oh, it is. It is. This is what it looks like. This is the, it's the Awakener. But there's another one. I have another room that's called the Enhancer. Oh, this one. So these two rooms, bound rooms. This one is Kenna's, and that came out. And that's the base. They're bound by Kenna's. Oh, wait. Sorry. I don't know if I should have done the right thing. Yeah, they're bound by Kenna's. This is like somebody knowing astrology, them knowing all types of spell work, like I said, them knowing all types of like word magic and stuff like that. But they don't they don't know how to use runes, let alone let alone knowing what runes are. And if you're falling in that category, go ahead and register for my room course. Registration ends on the 22nd. There's still a few days. There's only 12 spots left. And we're gonna be you guys get the extended version of this course. Everyone else will get the 30-day version. You'll get the six-month version. So go ahead and register. It's on my website. Click my, go to my channel and click the link in my description box <laughs> and register for the room course. It should be room 101. Mm -hmm. And while you're over there, go ahead and get your golden coin necklace, period. Um, Cause that's also limited. The Enhancer and the Awakener. So this is the other one. Suilo, uh, Issa, Jibo, and Jera. And I'll post these on my community tab if for those who are interested. I think... Because, you know... I'm going to put it on my website. I'm going to put all my bound rooms on my website, what they are, and all of that. But you're going to have to pay for it. You're going to have to pay for it. It'll be a digital download, so you won't have to pay for shipping and shit like that. But you're going to pay for it. It ain't going to be more than $5. It's probably going to be like $5. Because I have mad bound rooms and like how to use them and shit like that. But if you register for my room course, you'll get not just these, but all of them. Because basically, I teach you how to use rooms. It's easy to learn what every room means. It's not easy to learn how to use them. And them books, them old ass books on like rooms really don't teach you much because those are from those times. Rooms work very differently in, in the age of Aquarius and in the information age because rooms are powerful coding mechanisms, coding tools, programming tools, powerful for yourself, for your environment, and as protection against whatever the fuck other people might try to do. Room saved my life. I'm just going to say that. Eight of Wands with Temperance. And you don't have to utilize spell work. All you have to do is literally draw that shit somewhere. You want a rune to be extra, extra powerful? You use blood magic. You get it tattooed. But everybody ain't ready for that. A lot of people don't realize that they've been utilizing blood magic. So I hope you know the type of shit you got tattooed on your body. Because you're bound to that shit. As long as, you're with, uh, as long as you're in this body, whatever body you're currently in, you're bound to whatever is tattooed on you. Period. Eight of Wands. Yeah, runes. runes. Spell work is nothing. Spell work literally is like baby powder. If you were thinking about magic, like, it's baby powder. It's only effective on the 3D. Runes? Runes are old as fuck. They're effective in damn near all of the realms. All of the unseen realms. And so if you draw it, now it's effective in the 3D realm, too. You activate it on the 3D. You awaken the energy in order to enhance what you already have. Um, but don't I always tell people do not try to use runes to attack people though that is not what they're intended for you try to use runes to attack harm or otherwise like 
bring discomfort to another person, Odin's gonna have a time with you. And you're not gonna like that too much. So be careful. Bitch, you'll you'll you think you're being hunted you're you'll think you're being haunted by ghosts. No, these those are fairies. And you better hope they just like pixies and fucking some shit like that. You don't wanna start running into Kelpies and goblins and all that other shit. So be careful. Okay? You don't have to worry about too much of that. Using the runes, but like I say, if you try to use them for the wrong reasons, the the Fey realm, the realm in which Odin has a lot of fucking pull, the god, a, a very powerful god in the unseen realm, specifically the Fey realm, the realm of the Norse gods. Yeah. Just be careful. Don't don't be stupid. And I warned you. So, hey, Miss Diamond, what are you doing? You coming to check us out? Coming to see what we doing? Huh? You standing in the way, Miss Diamond? No. Okay. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, we're gonna wrap. We're gonna not wrap it up. Damn, I didn't even realize I've been on here for an hour. Well, I guess this is gonna be one of those two-hour lives again. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you want to know about more, I'll compile all of my runes that I have so far. Oh, and I'll add my rune dice, which have some bound runes on them. I'll add them to my website today. Just I'll update y'all when it's officially up there on the community tab. So just subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Um. And if you order from my website, you'll get email updates. So you'll automatically update about that. And I have a good amount of rooms. Because there's also a room for every sign when I do the fortune reports over here on my channel. So far, Aquarius, Cancer, and, Sag and Scorpio are up. I'll be doing four more this month. But they'll all be up by... Taurus season. Mm. They'll all be up before Taurus. The sun is in Taurus 12 degrees. Let me just say that. Um, yeah. And the way runes work for me, like, I ain't never seen nobody use runes the way I use runes. But I know a lot of advanced magic, LOL, because it's part of my purpose. I'm Uranus and Aquarius in the eighth house. It's a lot of shit that I probably shouldn't know that I do. <laughs> um, yeah. And my concentration spiritually as a spiritual teacher, as an ascended master, is Akashic Records, so... Shout out to all the Life Path 33s out there. Shout out to all the Life Path 33s and the sixes. Shout out to all the sixes. <laughs> Shout out to all the sixes and the 33s out there. I'm about to get me a jersey with a 33 on it. I don't know shit about sports. But I'm going to get me. Y'all, y'all, y'all watch sports? Who got the best? Like, who's the best player with 33? Because I need that. I need that. Y'all gonna have to comment down below. Because I need that for real. Oh, I did not see that. See, this is why I gotta look at the witch and call it from here. I didn't even see y'all in the chat. I can't see y'all in the chat on the actual live. But I can see y'all when I look at it from my phone. But yeah, what y'all think is like the best? I don't care if it's soccer, baseball, hockey, basketball, football. Who the best 33? Like, who the best number 33 player? And it could be like old, new, whatever. But y'all got to give me some of those. The lovers with the ace of wands and justice. I'm going to shuffle this somewhere. With the fool. Goddamn. Major. Mad majors coming out today. 
Because we're in the major leagues now. But apparently, you like a, it's like you coming in the majors as a rookie, but you doing shit that some of these vets can't do. Some of these vets don't know how to do. Bitch, they didn't even know that you could do that shit before your ass showed up doing it. Oh, um. I'm going to send you the link to everything. I'm going to send you the link to the, uh, Alex. I'm going to send you the, um, the link to the, uh, fucking rune course because of what we talked about oh and i'll be mailing your charm out really soon too i'm debating if i'll if i'm um because i kind of want to wait and make you a, a golden okay for those who don't know i do give out sponsorships randomly um and so like everything that i develop everything that i do my those that i sponsor get everything completely like photo free um you can't really ask for a sponsorship it's kind of just given based on like what my spirit guides me to do um seven of swords but i am gonna start a membership thing on my website where you can pay yearly which will start i think i'm gonna add it before the astrological new year gets here so once my room class is no longer no longer open for registration You'll be able to register for like a month, uh, a, sorry, a yearly like subscription to what I like to call the sponsorship. But that subscription obviously is not going to be cheap because it covers everything for a year. That includes events I have, like 3D IRL events I have, um, which also includes like your transportation, your all that other good shit like the shit that you would have to pay for like you won't have to pay for anything um because it's all included in that one little price um well not little price but it's all included in that the your yearly like tuition it's like tuition think of it like that and i don't i don't belong to a school i am the school yeah now um so oh, yeah, and Alex, I'll send you over like all of the other stuff too. So check your email. I should be sending it over. You'll have it'll be in your email by the twentieth, max. Everything will be in your email by the twentieth. So yeah, for those who are interested in the sponsorship membership, um, yeah, and it allows me it, it allows me to help like. It helps me sponsor more people too. Cause by the eventually I want to get to a point where I'm sponsoring like 13 people a year. But right now I'm only sponsoring one. <laughs> LOL. Five of Pentacles. Let's see one more. Oh, let's pull the dice up, too. Matter of fact, I'm putting these back. We're about to clear the energy again. Because I didn't do that. I need to get some more Palo Santo. Somebody want to buy me some. It's on my wish list. We'll just link down below in the description box. Because I really only buy one particular brand. I will not buy any other Palo Santo. Or if you live in Cali, because I know they got Palo Santo, they got like Palo Santo trees out there. And you could get some, you got like source some like some raw Palo Santo. Let me know. I'm willing to trade, negotiate for something. We can make a little deal. But yeah, I want to know more about this energy of somebody wanting to make a deal with you. That's crazy. Imagine like imagine how how much power you really got to believe somebody got to make a, a 3D deal with them instead of going to the spirit realm.
I'm literally dropping so many gems right now. Like, I'm giving y'all so much information that's going to go over so many heads. LOL. Why you think record companies have so much fucking power and companies and corporations, period? The government. Because people make deals with these entities. Not always under duress, but sometimes ignorantly. Not knowing what they're really signing up for. Just like the spirit realm. People be doing shit not knowing what the fuck they signing themselves up for. But that's on them because, bitch, the realm didn't come to you. You went to the realm. But the thing about shit on the 3D, you don't have to really go to it. All you have to do is put the thought in your mind and say a word. And usually will just show up. Fucking Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> we'll just show up. LOL. Like Beetlejuice, say our name three times. Like the Boogeyman, say our name three times. Like Bloody Mary, say our name three times in the mirror. And the universe is a mirror, so you say our three, name three times. Yeah, without thinking about it. Whether you're talking about us, whatever. Go ahead and say our name three times. With strong intentions, we'll pop the fuck up. And you ain't got you ain't got to worry about it. We'll be guided to you. It's like summoning us. But not everybody, not everyone, not everyone can be summoned. Now, if you summon us and you don't have something that we want, it's like a fairy. You go asking a fairy for some shit and you don't have something the fairy wants, that fairy is going to fucking ignore you. And you can sit there and stand there all day, all your life, waiting for the fairy to do something for you. Bet you better figure out what the fuck that fairy wants. It was like you wouldn't go petition into a god without an offering. Y'all make altars. Whatever. You better have something we like. Or don't expect us to listen to shit you got to say. Bitch, we don't give a fuck. We living good on the 3D. You the one that need help. Fuck is you talking about? All right. The energy is shuffled and cleansed and all of that other good stuff. Now let's get a few more. Fehu, Thurias, Thursas, however you choose to pronounce it. Mm. This is pushing like the money button. Will log us again? That's why the, it's flowing because somebody about to push like a money bucket, but bucket, a money bucket, like a the gold at the end of the rainbow, <laughs> a pot of gold. Somebody about to wish for a pot of gold, or somebody about to make a wish. And it's going to bring you a fucking pot of gold. You welcome. That's what I mean. Sometimes fairies show up. And they don't want anything from you because of who you are. Sui Lu. And then sometimes fairies show up, bitch, and we're going to ask you for every. We're going to make you give us a bunch of shit before we give you, at like, one thing cracking up. But when you treat a fairy right, oh, fairies love, we love to be treated appropriately. Like, you show your appreciation, we literally do shit that we'd never do for anybody. But that is very limited. There's not a lot of people we like. Jera, Change, Harvest. Why am I having a brain fart? Like, what the fuck was that just now? Um, Hagalas? Oh my god. Why could I not think of that? <laughs> 
Why could I not think of that? I mean, it is a whole other language. I'm switching the addresses. So I'll look at okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they don't. People don't be you know what they're, they're, and they be asking for a lot. Like, people be showing up asking for a lot, and it's like, you do realize how much you're going to have to give just to get half of that? Like, okay, stupid. Keep asking for shit. Dumb dumb. You better hope your ass don't go broke. You better still have enough resources. Because <laughs> we ain't just going to give you no shit. We're going to send you on a whole ass journey to get your own shit. But we got the map. We got the directions. We know the way. The wood. We know the way through the woods. Hollering. Literally cracking up right now. This is why I tell you, like, when I make shit, I sell it. But I sell limited quantity because you know how much energy is put into the things that I create with my hands? Especially shit like these. I had to literally create these, form these, paint these by hand. Like, you know how much energy, how much of my energy is in these? Or anything, like I said, anything that I make with my hands? LOL. If you can't identify a fairy... You better learn. You better learn. You better fucking learn. You better learn quick, too. Because we about to start popping up all over the place. We already been out here, but we about to start revealing ourselves. Like, we about to start taking the masks off. Some some people don't already ask for too much and then give none. So they're indebted. They're, they, are, they have a debt. They have a tab. And they're going to be fucked with by the rest of the Fey realm until they pay that tab off. And they're not getting any more energy. They're going to just get fucked with until they pay that tab. LOL. Um, why am I looking up here? What is this? Air? Why am I looking up here, Spirit? Okay, second house in your eighth house again. Look at your second house in your eighth house. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Um, oh, on Sue's crown. Okay, spirit saying leave the rest. That's ten. That's that wraps up a cycle. That's ten that's ten symbols. And I'm about to use a different deck. I'm looking at the Isis Oracle and the Lightworker Oracle, but I don't know why. I'm not doing no free attunement. So somebody on here needs an attunement, you better email me or join the membership to get access to the live attunement on the full moon or just wait till the next day when it goes public. But if you want to be there live to get the attunement, you get the membership or you can cash up $8.88 with your email in the notes section um, to get the private link. Excuse me. I want to use another deck. We're going to use a Cosmic Oracle. And how long have I been on here? Damn, like almost an hour and a half. This is crazy because we really be live streaming for longer than movies. Like longer than the length of a movie. You know how challenging that is for some people? It's crazy to think that some of us literally do this every day, multiple times a day. Like, and still have the energy to do other shit throughout our day. Like, I don't think people understand how how taxing energetically it is to, like, stream on the internet. Or, like, do this shit. It's not an easy feat. 
and doing like doing something completely authentic yeah most people are just doing what they think like doing what people doing things that they feel like people want to see not doing like most people are acting as clowns not ringleaders i'll say that or they're acting as clowns and then there are some of us who clearly are artists there's a difference between a clown and an artist. I'm hearing a song about Circus LA. Limitless. Oh, I like this. I'm going to put these over here. I like this, though. I like the way they look. Like, imagine you see somebody coming out and, like, not only do they got this beautiful-ass gown on, but, like, their hair is standing up to the ethers. And it like elongates itself like longer than it ever was type shit. And then their heart is shining. There's like a, okay, it's reminding me of the crystal attunement over soul cards. I'm going to read something from here. Thirty. What, what's 33? Carnelian. Some of y'all need to go get some Carnelian. I'm going to read the whole thing. Flowing. Oh my God, I can't make this up. Sacral water is an eight-point grid. The scents are cypress, grapefruit, frankincense, and lemon. And then moon phase, the waxing moon. Carnelian is a great stone for creativity and flexibility. This potent ally stimulates and balances the sacral chakras and can bring renewed vitality and enhance creative pleasures. There goes that word again, enhancement. Our natural curiosity is aroused through working with this crystal. Thus, our minds and hearts are dedicated to finding solutions and opportunities which someone needs. This is the crystal to have around if you are experiencing upheaval or great change in your life. Its vibration is a tonic for strained nerves and helps to settle fears. With this stone by your side, becomes change becomes something to be excited about, an opportunity for the new to flow into your life. The future is positive and only the best will happen. And flowing, the crystal oversoul helps us Recalibrate the patterns, images, and pictures stored within our subconscious. Help to reprogram. Um, the mandala is a warm, inviting blue hue that uh, has that has around its edges shades of soft rose pink. Can I call you Rose? I can't make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. The mandala is made of a series of overlapping forms that builds a picture of complete harmony. Eight beings reflect the Oversoul's consciousness. The beings appear to our eyes as if they are formed of watery layers of orange light. Is that not this? And these are two different decks. This is These are two different decks. You see the alignment here? I hope y'all understand. I hope y'all understand. If you don't have on blue today, go find something blue and add it to your outfit. If you don't have something brown today, find something brown and add it to your outfit. If your hair is brown, don't worry about it. You're already there. If your hair is blue, don't worry about it. You're already there. Um, They welcome us with a beautiful presence that instantly calms our emotions. They ask us to dive into the center of the mandala with them. Upon entering, we see in front of us a large carnelian colored temple that is illuminated and basking in an orange glow. Sacral energy. But I think we said that already. Following the beings inside, we encounter a space in the center of the temple shaped like an eight-pointed star. We know we have to stand in its center and the beings surround us creating another eight-point star mandala. All of the beings focus their light and healing intention upon us, which bathes us in orange light. The main focus of their intention is our sacral chakra that absorbs their rays. We can see and feel through this that we are free, free to shape and create our desired reality. Our subconscious is clear and thus flowing in the direction we seek to follow. I, I follow, I follow you deep sea, baby. I follow you. Go listen to that. I follow you. Transformation 33. I did not know that was on the bottom. And that was 33. The 33 card in that book was Carnelian. This is a whole different card from a different deck. And then the bottom of it was 33. I can't make this shit up, bruh. 
I don't know. Some of y'all think I'm I'm a fucking joke. But if you think I'm a joke, your mom probably is too. Uh, <laughs> I cracked myself up. Um what is it? Should I y'all want me to pull more cards? If y'all want me to pull more cards, I will for like the next 30 minutes. But if not, I'm about to open it up for questions via Cash App or Super Chat. And then get the fuck up out of here. If y'all want me to pull, pull more collective cards for 30 minutes, let me know. If don't nobody say yes within like the next two minutes, I'm just going to open it up for questions. And then be done. Because I'm already getting downloads now for like other videos. That are about to be posted in the membership where you get early access to behind the scenes tarot videos. Um, or if you subscribe to my Patreon too. Okay. <laughs> All right. It was it was the time was about to tick out. You had 24 seconds. Cracking up. I got you though. Chocolate. You're welcome. <laughs> 24 seconds. You got 24 seconds. Somebody got 24 hours. No romance. <laughs> just want to dance it. Your songs just be popping up in my head. It's like a word will cue a song. When I land, I'm here for 24 hours. Ooh, say you will do what I like. Oh, ooh, say you wearing what I like. Don't do that, my bad. Don't do that. Oh, hi, I'm glad you found me. She's like, mm, 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 mm. Ooh, no, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, all that fake shit, it never excite me. Libra energy, 24 hours I'm up in the city, what you want to do? Tell them how to get with me and wonder why I keep on winning and they losing. Because it's not on me, it's in me. <laughs> That's uh, 24 hours by Young Deji. That's my shit. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Two of, two of Pentacles. Pop goes the goddamn weasel. Somebody about to pop their head out. Whoever this energy that we've been talking about is about to start popping his head out. And it's because, like, you're going to do something and you're going to disappear. But we've been talking about this. You're, like, going to disappear. And they're going to, like, or it's going to be, like, it's going to be clear that, like, time is running out. Before either you or something you're doing disappears. Or before they can no longer get access to something that you're doing. And they're going to start popping out. The chariot with the fool. People about to start popping out the shadows. I swear to God, people about to start popping out the shadows. Because then the shadows don't serve them no more. Even if they're still in the shadows, they have to make themselves... Like, they have to make... They have to make it so you're aware of their presence in order for you to acknowledge them. Because how else are you going to get something from somebody that you need it from other than by them acknowledging not only your presence, but that you're requesting something. Judgment. Motherfuckers is about to start popping out the motherfucking woodworks now. Literally, the woods, the woodworks. They about to start popping out. And they, they're going to do so. Likely they're going to do so in the shadows still. Five of Pentacles. Some people gonna pop out and they ain't gonna have no money. See, it's not about money. It's really not about money. But like, some of these people are not gonna, they're gonna, um, they're gonna feel like they don't really deserve your help. And they're gonna make that clear because they're gonna be like, oh, I don't have this, but I have this, but I don't have this, but I have this. Like, 
And they're not just going to walk up with a negotiation. They're going to be talking about what they don't have because they don't know what you want. So you're going to be a bit You're going to be able to identify how much research a person has done on you before they come to you based on what they say when they come to you. So listen with intent. These this is three major arcanas with the two of pentacles. Them two weasels from behind the goddamn scene. Somebody who's somebody who's earth and someone or something who is earth and fire. Possibly a Leo, a Leo, a Leo, a Leo and a Virgo. I'm about to pop out of the motherfucking shadows. Hey, Diamond. You ready to take a nap? You want to take a nap, nap, mama? Or are you just going to chill right there? Because you definitely was just over there eating. And I know how you get. Come on. Come on. Happy Wednesday. Happy Mercury Day. Merry Mercury Day. What are you doing? The Empress. Yeah, that's exactly what's about to happen with the Knight of Swords. Um, under that. Yeah, they're about to make their presence known to the Empress. To whoever the fuck it is that they need. Y'all see Miss Diamond? You see how she just appeared? Ace of, Ace of Swords. Oh, and you purring too. You about to have a good nap, huh? You wanna say hi to the people? You wanna say hi? No? Okay. Where's your booty? Y'all hear her purr? You have some food on your nose, greedy butt. What else, spirit? King of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Goddamn, somebody going through it. <laughs> What's up? It's getting comfortable. The Magician with the Knight of Wands. So the fire energy here, whatever fire energy comes towards you, that's where the real magic is. That's the one who think that they, that's the Knight of Cups. That's the one who think that they had all the magic powers. The King of Swords is already disabled. So the person who, and that's like an elder, to a knight, a king is an elder. The elder is disabled. The magic them backfired. Well, something that they did them backfired on this elder. Period. Something that they did them backfired on this 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 person who was advising them. I don't know why a king of swords thought they was gonna be able to help a knight of wands. The King of Swords is thoughtful, decisive, calculated. The Knight of Wands is impulsive. I don't know why they didn't think that was going to backfire. That sounds stupid. What else? What? I'm making noise. Well, I'm, I'm still going to be live for a little bit. I'm sorry that you don't like the little bit of noise that I'm making. These cat, My cats are spoiled as fuck. Like, and I be like, and they be like trying to glamour me. Like, ah, don't glamour me. Animals, oh, they got glamour down pack. That shit is crazy. The eyes, the puppy eyes, and when they, they make their eyes big and be looking at you. Yeah, don't glamour me. <laughs> 
I see what you're doing. It, I'm not going to let it work. Sometimes that shit does work. Most of the time that shit does work. But sometimes it'd be like, all right. This person going to come. This Knight of Wands is going to pull up trying to glamour. Even though they know that shit is not going to work, they're going to try that shit anyway. They're definitely going to try that shit anyway. Because that's their strongest gift. The moon. Yeah. With the nine of swords. They're not good at sword work. They're not good at talking. They're good at glamour. So th this this is somebody who really be putting that shit on. They be smelling good. They be looking good. And they just be like. Like they always look like they trying to get ate up. For real, for real. They just be like. It just be like. Like, on some shit, like, you can't, you don't want to, not even that you can't take your eyes off them, you don't want to. And they good at it. Oh, trust me, they're good at it. They're great at it. But you'll only be, you will only be glamoured if you allow yourself to be. This person loves to, eye contact. Oh, brother. Be watchful for that one. That Knight of Wands. Watch out for that Knight of Wands. That motherfucker got some power. And don't let him. If if your feet if if this is a feminine and you're a masculine, don't let her put give put her 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 coochie on you. Cause you gonna be fucked up. You gonna be glamoured. Don't let, don't have sex with this person. You will be glamoured. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'm telling you now. Don't do it. Be mindful. Okay. What else, spirit? Oh, I'm hungry. I want some door. I want Sonic. Like, I want a DoorDash today. I really want Sonic. I want a double bacon cheeseburger. That's so disgusting, but that's what I'm craving. I want a double bacon cheeseburger with a Route 44 ocean water and tater tots and french fries and onion rings. Medium meal. So give me one more card, Spirit, and then we're going to open it up for questions for the last 15 minutes. Can I call you those? The world in reverse. They thought this was wrapping up a cycle. No. You're the only one who can. They don't know the way to the portal. They don't know how to get back. Okay. They don't know how to get out of your energy. Whoever this is feels stuck in your energy and they don't know how to get the fuck out. They need help on how to get out of your energy. Go watch that reading where I said they're going to have to pay to play. They need a way out of your energy. And not just them. Them and whoever else they was connected to. Hierophant with the Knight of Swords. Sorry, Five of Swords. What the fuck am I talking about? Tell you, you the boogeyman. And they need justice because they need to get back to the portal. But you also the one with the information. You the only one who could tell them. You not trying to fight them. It's just like, bitch. Ain't nobody tell you walking up, walk up in my energy. You gonna have to pay to get the fuck out. Because you need these directions, right? Well, pay for them. You need protection, right? Pay for it. Can I call you Rose? <laughs> LOL. I'm screaming. 
Knight. I mean, King of Wands. Five of Cups. Eight of Swords. And they're going to be like, I'm going through this. this, 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 this. It's like, they're going to pay up. Energetically. With money. With gifts. Whatever they got to do, they're going to do it. Because they, they, they really need. They don't want to be controlled. It's like as long as they're in, they're in your energy, you're going to be able to control them. No matter how much they think they're glamoring you, you still have control over them. Period. No matter how much they try to ignore it, you still got control over them. So they're going to they gonna do what they got to do to get out of your energy. Because they feel tortured. This is These are masculine energies who... Want to feel in control. As long as they know you're, you are always going to have more control over them than they have over themselves, they're not going to feel masculine. They can pretend to be in front of other people, but they don't know when you might pop up. They don't know. They don't know. Like I said yesterday, they don't know when they might cross your path. They don't know. They don't want to be made a fool of. Unexpectedly. Basically. But it's also like being somebody's spiritual lawyer. Like, you have to tell me all your... That's another thing, bro. Secrets. Oh, they're going to have to share some of their secrets. I feel like the stakes to get out is higher than just paying money. Like, it's really going to cost them some shit. Secrets cost, bro. Because you could destroy somebody's whole life with one little secret. You can destroy somebody's whole life with one secret. Destroy somebody's whole career with one secret. One little bitty tiny piece of information. So, I don't know. They're going to have to keep you close. The only way to keep... And it's crazy because it's like wanting out of your energy but still needing to keep you close. That's a thin balance. But that means making a worthy exchange so that they're not in debt to you. But instead you are useful. To, they are no they're no longer in debt to you, but yet instead you are useful to them. Let's get one more card. Then we're gonna open it up for question. I just dazed out real quick. Four of Wands. Yep. Yupper. Yupper. Everybody's gonna come out the woodworks. Cause it 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 wasn't one. It wasn't three. It's a group. It's a group of motherfuckers who are stuck at the portal. Or stuck somewhere and they all need help get into the portal to get the fuck back where they came from. Or to get wherever they're trying to go. And be free from your control. It's like if you had your own labyrinth. And within a certain amount of hours. Like it's almost like instead of you timing it. Time doesn't exist. In your labyrinth. Like time. Time is not a factor in your labyrinth. It's just a matter of. Can you find your way out? Can you learn the woods good enough? To get out. And if time don't exist. They don't know how much time has passed. They don't know how much time is going to continue to pass. And there's no way to find out. But you go to the empress of the labyrinth. You go to the ruler of that world. And. You know. They'll help you out. But what are you going to give them? Because how the fuck did you get here? In the first place. Yet again. So I'm going to open it up for questions. I'm now open for questions. You can cash app or super chat. My cash app is pinned in the, in the chat. It's $5 per question, and you get three cards. And I'm going I'm to do it for, yeah, a few minutes. Then I'm going to go eat breakfast because I'm literally hungry as hell. But I think I'm definitely going to get Sonic for lunch. Something. I mean, it's past lunch time. And this is going to be the first time eating. Ooh, my.
my back hurt. Okay, I gotta remember. Let me write this stuff down while y'all sending in y'all questions. All that other good stuff. Where is my thing thing? There we go. Oh. Retainer. Because that's what it really is. The yearly, like, subscription thing for my energy, my services, and all the other shit that I do. Yeah, it's really a retainer. It's like being a lawyer, a spiritual lawyer. But lawyers ain't cheap. Spiritual lawyers, definitely not cheap. Especially not those of us who can remove roots and open roads and all that other shit. Yeah, we don't come cheap. Um, email. Alex. What else did I got to put on my website? Rune. Notes. Um, rune, no, seraphim dice, and, oh yeah, and for those who end up getting my Patreon, I'm posting the vlog on Friday, and I'm, well, I'm, I'm gonna be posting weekly vlogs every week, so, first vlog is going up Friday, um, Cause I got finished editing it today. What else do I have to say? I gotta put on my website. Oh, re research more about royal stars. Um. No. What's that little booty? Um, I can't think. I'm so like, I'm brain farting right now. LOL. Oh, my Jen told me oracles. I need to work on that too, and um. I feel like I'm missing something. That might be it, though. That could totally be it. So, yeah. Um, if don't nobody ask a question, in the next two minutes, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Cash app or super chat, $5 per question, and you get three cards. And I'll throw in a, a room, too. Three cards and a room and a, and a die. Here come Bunny with her yelling. I'm wrong. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm wrong. I'm Come here. Yeah, I'm on camera. Come here. What's up, booty? Don't want snack? I'm about to go get some food. Okay. As soon as it hit 155, I'm I'm ending the live. So, shout out to everybody. Thanks for joining. Um, if you're interested in behind the scenes tarot readings, you can join the membership. Um, yeah, here on my channel, or you can join my Patreon. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video, rewatch the video. If you just popped in, but you still want to see the rest of it, you can totally watch the, the playback, um, on my channel. And then if you're interested in any of the things that I spoke about in this live stream, I'm going to be adding the things that I talked about to my website. Um, 
in these next few days so just stay tuned updates will be posted on the community tab and um yeah be mindful of the energies that are going to be coming towards you don't let them glamour you you need to stay completely conscious completely aware do not let people glamour you because they damn sure are going to be trying. And so it is because it is so family lovey vibes. Ashe.